Good afternoon, everyone. It's Brad at Yamaha Marine Center in Orange Park on Wells Road. But today we are in our top secret offsite location while we're doing construction on the new building. Today I have a 2006 Parker 1801 and I didn't bring any specs on it, but they've been making this boat pretty much the same way for just about forever. Uh, it's actually in our brokerage, so we're selling it for a gentleman. And I'm actually making this video for a prospective buyer. So he wanted to see if there's any material damage to the boat, get an idea what the bottom looks like and all that good stuff. But you can see not a huge aggressive dead rise on the boat, but enough to cut through some of the nonsense in the river, ocean, wherever you want to take it. Uh, this boat has been bottom painted. I don't know where the original owner kept it, but this gentleman inherited the boat and then uh, upgraded it with the Suzuki 150, uh, new hydraulic steering, put a, I think a Garmin on it, and then he put the uh, Minn Kota Tarova trolling motor on it as well. But nice design. I mean, it's a pretty well sought after boat. And then you can see no real material damage anywhere. There's some scuffing on the bottom, maybe a little bit through bottom paint maybe a little bit through the gel probably from going on that hitting that sharp edge on that nylon roller back there but structurally speaking everything should be pretty sound our technicians didn't find anything when we took it in some of the bottom paint is coming off it's an ablative paint so it's designed to wear off over time so if it's kind of nasty you can touch it up and then we need to get some spares. So it is a five lug 205 75 14. And it looks like a radial. So we'll see if we can find something similar. And there are brakes on the trailer too, which is nice. Uh, and then we're coming back to the engine here. Like I said a 150 Suzuki has about 25 hours on it. Initial service was just done. Um, nice fiberglass board and step port side so you can see I mean there's really no even hull side scratching or anything I mean some of this pinstripe is starting to flake off there's a little ding there just through the gel into some exposed fiberglass but again nothing like impact damage or where you can tell there was a repair done because the gel coat tends to fade at a different rate when you've done a repair and I didn't see any of that on here. We'll hop up in the boat real quick and take a look. Uh, Cause I don't think any of the pictures had the cushions on it, but it's a pretty, I mean, all the Parkers are a pretty basic build. It's just a great running utilitarian Spartan fishing boat. It has uh, the little flip flop leaning post here. So you can be aft facing. And then of course the live well back here, it's big bait well, live well, whatever you want to use it for. And then you have the aft seat bases here. We got a stern anchor, a bunch of dock lines. On to this side, batteries. Got some, looks like fuel stabilizer and then have the full Coast Guard kit flares air horn anchor lights down there cushions i mean it's a 2006 cushions have never been redone so there's the backrest forward seat so you can see it just has some mildew staining i mean they still are soft which is cool because probably because it's been kept inside most of its life i think all of its life there's a helm seat and then another seat there helm like i said upgraded to the hydraulic no tilt on this one uh, Suzuki gauges. I think there was a picture of the hours on there. I think it was like 22 or 25 or something. Suzuki binnacle. I feel like it's a cable operated. Yeah, it feels cable. And then there's the mount for the Simrad, I think it is actually. It looks like a Simrad backing plate, like a hook seven or hook nine maybe. And then I don't know what goes there. I'll check the bag when I get back to the office. But you got some rod holders, cup holder, uh, charging port inlet there for the trolling motor batteries, which are installed in the helm. Or actually, I think that might be for the uh, house and cranking or whatever. Gas cap. And then there's that 
80 pound thrust 24 volt Tarova. And then I think that is the plug in for the trolling motor batteries, the charger. And then we have a anchor. I'm looking aft. The cushion slides in, and then there's access to the batteries. And you also have access through this port here down into the rigging. But all in all, cool boat. I mean, it looks in great shape. Um, no bimini with it. There it looks like there used to be a bimini, but nothing right now. And then again, the box of stuff, fender. What does the cover? Fire extinguisher and then all the other stuff is in that orange tackle box. But cool. If you have any other questions, let us know. Contact Brad or Barton. 904-644-7631. There's the next boat we're gonna do here in a second. Um, or get us on the website, yamahamarinejax.com.